Up next, we're going to talk about how to properly maintain the linear track system and the chopper cylinders for good preventative maintenance. This is the linear rail and this is the linear bearing block assembly. So the chopper tracks along the linear rail. You'll notice there's a zerk fitting here. Inside the grease block, there are reciprocating balls. It's very important that you keep them greased, but if you over grease, if you inject too much grease into it, the balls, instead of rolling in the track, the grease actually makes them stick, and then they're sliding abrasively along the rail. So a light amount of grease here, making sure you keep the rail clean from ink, lint and spray adhesive with a light oil. While you're at it with the rag, you want to take some time and you want to clean these shafts of all that type of debris as well. These are your chopper cylinders. If debris accumulates on the shaft and then it's drawn up into the cylinder, it will damage the seals and the bushing. AC print heads use belt drive systems. So what I'm going to show you next is we're going to remove the cover and inspect the belt drive system. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So just keep in mind that you want to keep all aspects of your machine as debris and lint free as possible. So here's the cover. We've removed the screws and you can see the belt drive system. AC print heads are belt driven. So I've removed the screws for the cover and I'm going to show you that this is the belt drive system and you'll notice you have two bearing guides. A good corrective maintenance program would be making sure that this system is obviously lint free, but also making sure that the adjustment between these bearings and the belt are done correctly. Proper tension keeps the belt engaged to the pulley. One of the unique features of the Mustang is because of these idler bearings, which is an additional cost for them to do, but it helps the machine last longer, you actually have almost 180 degrees of contact between the belt and the actual motor pulley. One of the amazing things that you'll find about the Mustang is that the entire machine was designed in a 3D modeling software called SolidWorks. And because of that software, you have unique things like this cover. I mean, literally all I had to do was loosen the screws and this cover comes right off. So it's very easy to remove the components so that you can do good corrective maintenance. Belt tension is very important. And if you notice the belt system here, you want to try to keep it as free of lint as possible, as well as ink. Many of the automatic machines on the market, the belt system is underneath and it gets packed with spray adhesive, lint, and plastisol and or water base ink. By mounting the belt system on the side of the head and placing it under a cover, it gets it up and away from that debris. Another advantage you have from a maintenance standpoint is that you can clean both sides of the belt without removing the belt. If the belt goes inside the print head, you have no ability as it drags that material into the print head to get that debris out. So we can remove the cover, have full access to the belt from a cleanliness standpoint, corrective maintenance, but also if you needed to replace the belt down the road, it's simply removing a plate, restringing the belt, and reattaching it. And that's one of the benefits of the Mustang. So good corrective maintenance will keep your machine running long into the future.